of an emotional court hearing in Fairfax County ended with an applause. Family and friends of 23 year old rapper Noah Settles learned his fate. You might remember him as the man who started shooting inside a busy Tyson's Corner Center on Father's Day last year. The Commonwealth says some shoppers are still too scared to return to the mall. Our Matthew Torres was there as prosecutors requested a sentence far beyond the guidelines. Today, Noah Settles read a letter apologizing to everyone inside Tyson's Corner the day he fired those three gunshots. Even though no one was hurt because of disregard to human life, the prosecution says he deserved 15 years behind bars. Instead, a Fairfax County judge handed down the mandatory minimum sentence of three years. Relieved family and friends walked out cheering and singing. I knew God was good. I knew justice was going to be served today. Settles is a rapper known by his stage name No Savage. He was convicted for firing his gun inside Tyson's Corner Center on Father's Day last year, sending dozens of shoppers scrambling for safety. Settles apologized and referenced being a father to a two-year-old boy who was in the courtroom, saying, quote, I want to apologize to any child who experienced that. He was wrong to carry the weapon into the mall. Our citizens have a right when they go to the mall to feel a certain level of security when you go to the mall. We understand that. They came there to antagonize Mr. Sapps and attack him. Authorities say he had a dispute with a rival gang known as White Shirts. They came up to him and recorded this video. Another camera angle captures a tussle as Settles is seen holding a gun. They dispersed, but moments later, one white shirt member began walking towards Settles with a gun right before shots rang out. His defense argues his client was first provoked and antagonized, saying, quote, Noah panicked in a negative way. The only thing Mr. Settles wanted to do was get the way, get out the mall, use those three shots as a means to escape. But prosecutors argued Settles had opportunities to exit if he was actually scared. The Commonwealth says we don't give someone a pass for not being able to aim. If anything, he was in fear of was he didn't want to appear weak. Commonwealth attorney Steve Descanu still believes the request for 15 years was appropriate. Uh, Mr. Settles re-engaged a number of times when he easily could have disengaged. Uh, he made the conscious decision to pull the trigger multiple times. Do you think he's remorseful? I don't know. I would hope so. And on top of his three-year sentence, there is also a five-year probation. On top of that, he is no longer allowed to step foot inside Tyson's Corner Center. In Fairfax, I'm Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.